Well, we have seen much of biblical prophecy coming to fruition right before our very eyes. And we can look no further than the book of Revelation, Revelation 6 mainly, and the words that Jesus spoke in the Gospel of Luke. And Revelation 6 starts out speaking of a writer with a bow and a crown. Most of us have always thought that it was a crown, like a normal crown you would wear, and a bow, like a bow and arrow. But now that it is coming to pass, we can see that it is corona, is the crown. And when you look in the concordance to see what bow actually means, it doesn't mean like a bow and arrow. It means the simplest form of fabric, which is exactly what a mask is. The simplest form of fabric. So that is absolutely what's happening right now. You can rest at ease that the mask isn't a precursor to the mark of the beast, but it does fulfill prophecy indeed. And then we have some big news. We have a Rothschild that just randomly died. His heart failed him. He's not the only one. But let's take a look at scripture first to see how this is playing out. In Luke 21, And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of the nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heavens shall be shaken. This is actually going to be two prophecies that have been fulfilled, well, that I'm going to be speaking of. We have... Um, the sweet and low magnet, Sugar Foods, has died by suicide, reportedly. Um, and we have this British billionaire, Sir David Barclay, died of, I don't know, suicide, heart attack. His heart failed him. Very interesting, because in Revelation, let me see, 6, it says that the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man will hide themselves in dens and in the rocks and in the mountains. And we're seeing the media essentially warning of this. They're saying the CEO of Parlor is hiding out. But, you know, he might be. But the fact is, their messages are encoded. Some of the mainstream media. And we know this from many things. But actually, they were warned at least a month ago. I came across where there was 30,000 earthquakes in Antarctica, and I think that was their warning. But that wasn't the only 30,000 that we saw. And how do I know that 30,000 has anything to do with a warning? Well, we go to 1 Samuel, and let's go ahead and read that. And the Philistines gathered themselves together to fight with Israel. 30,000 chariots, 6,000 horsemen, and people as the sand, which is on the seashore, in the multitude. And they came up and pitched Mishmah eastward and whatever. And then it says, 
when the men of Israel saw that they were in strait, for the people were distressed, then the people did hide themselves in caves and in thickets and in rocks and in high places and pits. So we see the 30,000. You see, Scripture always interprets Scripture. Line upon line, precept upon precept. There's no need to, like, have guessing games and stuff. It will, you know, you pray about it and it will reveal itself. to The Holy Spirit will reveal it to you. And we also have this shaking going on in Florida. But we have 30,000 foot supposed eruption of the volcano. You see, that didn't really happen. There was a, an eruption, but they they coded the numbers. I could go on for hours showing you all of the warnings of this 30,000 that they put out. They put it all over. They, they'll put it in the Dow Jones. They'll put it in, look, man spends stimulus check on 30,000 masks for the homeless. We're all in this together. You see, but it's about, they'll put it in everything, 30,000 antigen kits, 30,000 medical workers, 30,000 vaccines, 30,000, 30,000. Uh, the Marines have 30,000 rifle suppressors, 30,000 railroads poisoned, uh, poised to strike. And I mean, it just goes on and on. And it, these aren't the same articles, but they came out within a day or two of each other. Some of them on the same exact day. And there's tons and tons of them. How do they know before us? Well, I believe that there are true Christians that um, are used as spiritual advisors. Um, I know some people will say Illuminati or something. And yeah, that that's part of it, I guess. But to get biblical prophecy right, to be able to warn people, there's got to be something bigger, someone bigger. But I guess my point really is we have two groups of people right now. We have lukewarm Christians and we have non-believers. Of course, we have the believers, but my warning is not to those. We look at Isaiah 8 and it says, The Lord spoke to me with his strong hand upon me, warning me not to follow the way of these people. He said, Do not call conspiracy everything that these people call conspiracy do not fear that what they fear and do not dread it we had churches shutting down and denying the power of laying on of hands because they don't have the power because they deny the true power and then we have the lukewarm people and the conspiracy people that are calling things that you can see clearly that are biblical prophecy, but yet you're still considering it a conspiracy. Are they doing shady stuff? Of course they are. But you know what that means? God's giving you some more time to no longer be lukewarm and to truly be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Repent and be baptized. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, there's a lot of people out there that don't even realize that they're denying the power thereof. And this is just my warning for y'all. You know, the Most High our Father, our Heavenly Father, if you consider yourself Christian, sent us many amazing evangelical, evangelicals, you know, going around preaching the gospel over these last few decades. And the ones that teach faith healing, the true ones that have taught faith healing and being um, baptized in the Holy Spirit, and we have a very large group of people that just laugh at, laugh at them and make fun of them and say that those aren't real Christians. Maybe you're mistaken 
maybe you're denying the power thereof. I'm speaking to those cessationists. You, you're fearful. You, you believe this, these, these things that people say that, oh no, we're, we're not healed. Healing isn't really for today. Or this isn't for today. That's not for today. You're denying the power. And he's giving you another chance right now. And for those who don't believe, I hope you see that this is playing out exactly as prophesied. I hope y'all have a blessed day. And just read your Bible. You'll see the answer. Pray about it.